Hey, good morning everybody. Pastor Ben here. I'm out on the road. I'm not driving. Don't worry about that. I'm uh, just uh, doing a couple errands today with my family. Uh, so, uh, But I do want to share with you today some things, uh, uh, an encouraging message today as we continue talking about the Lord's Prayer. Uh, hopefully you saw the 5 to 5th game night last night. They had a blast. Looked pretty fun, a little challenging. Uh, get your brain going a little bit too. Uh, I think anybody could play, really. Uh, it seemed pretty fun. So definitely check that out. Uh, other than that, 10 a.m. Oh, work day's coming up. Make sure to check our Facebook for the times and stuff like that. If you have questions on that, make sure to let us know. Sunday, we're going to continue our online services for a couple more weeks. But we do plan on hopefully doing kind of a soft open uh, by uh, the 30 or on the 31st. Uh, of May, which is really exciting. Uh, obviously, if things change, well, uh, we may have to change that, but right now, that's our plan. Um, we hope that we can have at least a few people come in, kind of be the live audience for for a, for a the recording, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, still going to be pretty simple, pretty quick, uh, but we want to kind of start to slowly move into that. So if you're interested in that, make sure to mark your calendar and be planning on that. You also have to probably set an alarm because uh, you've probably been waking up a little later on Sundays. Uh, recently so other than that also once we kind of uh, start to get into that mode we're gonna be looking to do some really fun stuff uh, as well so make sure to keep an eye out even after this is over and we're meeting in person again don't forget to continue to watch our Facebook and our website we're gonna keep things updated as we do um, so that you can uh, stay connected and hopefully uh, be aware of everything that's going on also makes it really easy to share with your friends and family uh, who maybe uh, don't follow the page or don't uh, attend regularly. So make sure you do that as well. I think that's pretty much it. I could probably be forgetting something. If I, if we remember it, we'll put it in the comments or you'll see a post on Facebook uh, later on. So make sure to keep an eye out there. So I do want to continue uh, our discussion on the Lord's Prayer today. Uh, we have, we're about, we're not that far in yet. Uh, it's only been a few days uh, so far start at the beginning uh, our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come is where we stop uh, I believe what Pastor Rick shared with us yesterday um, and today we're gonna be talking about that next line thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and I want to make one thing I want to point out too is I think how we tend to say the Lord's Prayer as we've memorized it there tends to be a break thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and it, and it misses and there's a little bit of a disconnect there now obviously when you think about it you realize that those two pieces are together but it's super important that we uh, realize what we're saying there pastor Rick talked yesterday about uh, his kingdom coming not our own kingdom uh, and and I think that kind of applies to this as well uh, on earth as it is in heaven but thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and uh, this is a both a petition but also uh, a commitment that we're making. See, first of all, uh, the petition is that God's will would be done, right? That he would do his will here, but also that his will would be carried out by those who believe in him here on earth, just like it is in heaven. In heaven, there's no you know, second guessing. There's no uh, thoughts of, uh, of sin or anything like that. Instead, it's just his will being followed and him being glorified. And that's peace and love. and and, and, and all those great things that we want here on earth in heaven constantly without any uh, distraction, without anything taking away from that. But like I said as well, it's also a commitment because if we're praying that his will would be done, we play a big role in that. Those who follow him, those who believe in God, if we're asking for his will to be done, guess what? That can start in each of us. That means that we are saying, hey, we want your will to be done. I'm going to do your will. And we pray that you, number one, help us do that, but also that more and more would do the same. See, this prayer has so many facets to it. And, and like I said, some people look at it and say, hey, you have the intro, um, our Father which art in heaven. Then you have these petitions. But I see something else in there, and that's a challenge for us, uh, a commitment by Christians as we pray this to say, I'm going to do your will because I want to see your will in this world. Now, again, the Lord's Prayer is a uh, is a great prayer to go back on. If you're not sure what you want to pray or how you want to, uh, what you want to say, it's great for that. But um, 
it's it's a template that we can use. And so you figure out a way to say, how how can I pray this same thing? How can I pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven? I mean, maybe maybe you want to say, you know, bring heaven down. Uh, they, let it be like heaven in this place. You know, whatever, however you want to say that. However it works for you to say, your will be done. But also remember that commitment side of it and saying, I'm going to do your will. And kind of uh, bring that in as well. Prayer is uh, so important and, and integral to the Christian walk. And I don't think, I think it's uh, important that we figure out how to do it on our own. Using uh, Jesus' example of prayer as a template that allows us to just kind of sit down and talk to God. Now, hopefully, um, as you, if you've been a Christian for a while, you know how to just sit and talk with God and share with Him anything. Uh, but it's always good to fall back into uh, the simple... Uh, clear template that just kind of lets you say uh, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. How much, how badly do we want, this is my dog by the way, how badly do we want uh, his will to be done here on earth? How how much do we want heaven to, for earth to be like heaven? Now it's not going to be exactly like that because there's always going to be those people who are uh, against us, those people who don't believe, those people who maybe are uh, you know, kind of on the fence but we want it to be as close as possible and that starts with us as individuals it starts with us uh spending time in worship there's going to be worship in heaven and so it's so important that we spend time in worship and not just in corporate worship but in private and personal worship as well that we we spend time doing that that we spend time in his presence and in his word because in heaven we're going to hear his word and be in his presence and it's also important, obviously, during this time, it's weird to say this, but it's also important to spend time together because in heaven we're going to be together in that place. And it's really important that we uh, spend time together. Right now, maybe it's digitally, maybe it's over the phone, maybe it's you know through text message or Zoom or whatever, but we need to make sure that we're spending time together. Worship, word, fellowship, all those things. As we look at what heaven is going to be, our job is to live that out and do something now that represents that. Maybe it'll fall short. Maybe it won't be exactly that way. But as we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we have to understand that what we're trying to do is bring heaven down to us. The the attitude of heaven, the, the environment, the atmosphere of heaven, because all of that is based in God's presence and his power and his love. And we can bring that down. Maybe just in your family, maybe in your neighborhood, in your places of work, in your school, whatever those are. You have the option of bringing this line of the Lord's Prayer to life uh, in your, in your uh, environment, in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Uh, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Or I'll, yeah, whatever. I'll lead you in the Lord's Prayer and then I'll, I'll close in prayer as well. Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father God, we thank you over and over for the life that you have given us. Some of us may have tough times. Some of us may feel like our life is just tough in general. But we're so thankful that you gave us this life to live, that we could, during this life, choose to follow you, choose to believe in you, choose to trust in you, and choose to have you as our Lord and Savior. God, I just pray that you continue to help us during these times, stay confident and stay encouraged, stay positive, and that we, as we look to possibly seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, that we would look to it uh, excitedly, that we would look to it with anticipation of not just our time together, but your uh, time with all of us together corporately. God, we just thank you uh, for uh, these days and these trials and these challenges that help us to grow, uh, that each of us would grow in our ability and our uh, willingness to pray and call out to you, God. God, I just thank you over and over for this opportunity to share. We pray you be with us, watch us, guide us, protect us, God. We pray all this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Uh, Pastor Rick, well, wait, tomorrow's Friday. We may not have Pastor Rick. Maybe we'll have a special guest. I don't know how we're going to do it. But we'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Have a great day.